Okay guys, here's the bow that we are going to be working on today. You can guess what it is, Maleficent, from the new movie that is out. Just an inspired creation, complete with horns and all. And it's very simple if you followed along in the Mickey tutorial, which was actually not a video, but a document. I'll leave the link down below. It's the same exact concept, except we're going to add the horns and the Maleficent um, bottle cap. Also, this is going to be a free download. I'll leave the link down below. But this is the one that we're going to be working on today. And the supplies that I'm working with, I'm working with a piece of dark purple felt. Of course, if you want your horns to be black, you can grab black felt. I just wanted mine to stand out a little more and offset the black that's already in the bow. I'm using ribbon in colors black. I've got a deep purple, I've got a light orchid, and I've got an apple green. I'm using 7 8 inch for all of this except for the one and a half inch um, light orchid. I've also got some rhinestone mesh in a dark purple color. I'm using my stiff and quick. You'll need a bottle cap. I'm using a black bottle cap. And of course, the free image that I'm going to give you a link for, or you can find it on I like big freebies.blogspot.com. Um, of course, you'll need your glue and your um, scissors and all that good stuff. But these are the supplies that you will need. The measurements for your bow parts. I'm working with two 13-inch pieces of 7 8 in the apple green and the black. And as you can see, I took the two pieces and fused them together in the middle to create one 26-inch piece. And then I'm going to layer it with another piece of uh, the apple green. So you'll need two strips of your 7 8 inch ribbon in black and apple green, 13 inches each part. Fuse them in the center with your fabric fusion or any of your fabric glues. And then I'm going to double layer it with another piece of the apple green in 26 inches. All right, and that's for the twisted topper bow. Then for our spikes, you're going to need three black, three dark purple, and one apple green. And um, these are measuring five and a half inches each. So those are going to be for the spikes. And for the surrounded bows, you're going to need two 14 inch pieces of one of the dark purple and one of the black. And then you'll also need a strip of your one and a half inch light orchid. Uh, color and that is going to be for the collar and we are using a 10 inch piece I'm also going to be working with a four and a half inch um, pinwheel bow as the base Okay, now all we're going to do is we're going to form our bow parts like I said You'll need a twisted a surrounded bow spikes and a pinwheel base and that's very simple if you need the tutorials um, I'll leave the links down below or you can search back in the um, the previous videos all right, for the twisted bow, you can make it any way you want, the figure eight, um, the hand folded method or anything, but you wanna make sure that you put your ribbon that we fused together on the top and then on the bottom is that other um, apple green ribbon. We're just going to layer them together so we see that apple green on the inside. Also, when you're folding, you need to make sure your black is going to be on the top and your apple green is going to be on the bottom. So I'll start with my apple green first. I'm just going to do hand folded method, whatever works for you. All right, now I'm gonna come and play with these loops and get them how I want them. But that's basically what you want it to look. You want the black on the top and the green on the bottom. Go ahead and crease this and set it aside. Okay, here is my twisted bow, and as you can see on the inside, all you see is that green ribbon. That's the look that we're going for. All right, you'll want to set this aside and spray it with your um, stiff and quick and get it good and um, crunchy. Okay, I went ahead and completed my surrounded bow with the black and the purple, and we're going to have the purple on the bottom the black on the top. For your spikes, we're going to go old school, and by old school, I mean this is how we used to do it in the olden days. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Okay, um, seriously, this is how we used to do the spikes when I first started. Um, 
many years ago. And um, that's how we're going to do them today because uh, we need the, see how this is, the, um, I don't know if you can see it in this picture. Anyways, we need the black on top and we need the purple on the bottom. So, this is the easiest way that um, I know to make that happen. You're going to take your black ribbon. Of course, you're going to need to um, trim up your ends before we do this and heat seal and all that. But you're going to take it and you're going to crease the middle just like that and you're going to hold this and then you're going to take your other black you're going to crease it in the middle and you're going to put them together and then guess what you're going to take that other black and you're going to what crease it in the middle and then put it together all right and then you can tie this part off go ahead and tie this one put it to the side and then we're going to start on the purple same thing take it crease it in the middle hold it Take another, crease it in the middle, and then put it together until you have the third one. And then you're going to tie this one off, and then we're going to put the two together. This is what your spikes will look like once you are done. We see the purples on the bottom, the black is on top, and if you need to fan out your loops, take a little bit of your hot glue, put it on the edges, and just pierce them together. Alright, now we're going to take that green, and we're going to place it right in the middle. Of course you want to glue that down. Then you can set all of your bow parts aside and we're going to spray them and let them dry. Okay now I'm going to take my old towel and all of my bow parts and I like my um, twisted bows good and loopy so I secure the loops with a couple of alligator clips before I spray them. You can also do that to your surrounded bows if you want. I'm going to take my Stiff and quick, and I'm going to give each part a spray. All right, now you can take a break while these dry. Okay, now once all your bow parts have completely dried, you're going to go ahead and start layering everything. Like I said, I'm using my pinwheel as a base. I'm going to put my spikes on top of the pinwheel and then the surround bow and the twisted boutique bow. Just going to layer it all together and that's pretty much it for the actual bow. You can go ahead and secure it to your clip. I'm going to use a French barrette and I'm going to fully line the barrette and go ahead and wrap everything around it and have it fully secured. Here's my clip that I went ahead and wrapped with 3 8 inch black ribbon. Now I'm just going to start layering and gluing and attaching everything to my clip. Okay, the hard part is over. We have completed the bow and we have attached it to the clip. Now we're just ready to add our horns and the bottle cap and the collar. Okay, for the horns, I used a template and I'm going to leave a link down below so you can download the template. All you need to do is download it on printer paper and then you're going to need to take it and just rub a little bit of um, a glue stick on the paper to your felt and then you'll just need to trim out your template and your felt and you'll have horns that look like this and then you will need to use your stiff and quick and spray it generously. Um, I had to use quite a bit on the horns and once you do that they're good and um, sturdy. But you can also buy the felt in the craft store that's a little bit uh, thicker. And if you have that, that's great. You won't have to spray these stiff and quick. Okay, now for the collar, you're going to take that 10 inch piece of one and a half inch ribbon, which is light orchid, and we're just going to trim up the ends. And to do that, I'm just going to do slight slant cuts on both sides just like that and then of course you're going to take your lighter and you're going to heat seal this just gently heat seal all right now we're going to assemble the collar okay now we're going to place the collar on our bow you're going to take your collar piece and you're going to pull your bottom surrounded bow loops up and you're going to slide this right under the surround bow and on top of these purple spikes. So you want to find the middle and it's going to go up there. You want to make sure it's straight. 
once you put your surround bows. All right, and then when you're done, that's on there straight, you're gonna take the purple and kind of layer it over the surround bow and you're gonna glue just a little bit right here to each of your surround bow bottoms. Oops. And it'll come down like a uh, collar. Let me show you our other one. See? It's under the surround bow on top of the spikes, and then I've got it glued right here to the bottoms. And then you can take your mesh and just a strip right here at the bottom. If you want to, it's not necessary, but that's pretty much the collar. Very simple. Okay, and after your horns have um, dried and stiffened, I left mine um, overnight to stiffen. Um, but you'll want to come up under these black spikes and you'll glue them right behind there. Just right here at the top. Under the black spikes at the top. And the very last detail is the bottle cap. And of course, my images came from I Like Big Freebies. I've got a black bottle cap. I'm going to go ahead and fix up my bottle cap. I put a piece of felt here. Then my image with the epoxy on top and then another piece of felt on the bottom and we're just going to put it right here in the middle of the bow and that's it your Maleficent bow is complete I uh, hope you guys liked the tutorial I hope it was simple enough to follow it was a really easy bow I promise um, if you decide to do a bow like this be sure to post pictures on the Facebook page and I will give you a little shout out if I see your picture come across. Um, but yeah, it's a great bow to wear if you're going to the movie to see Maleficent.